a whole lot of people talk about how the quant network overledger is similar or probably competing with ripples xrp but i don't see that so today i'll be doing something different i'll be comparing the overledger os to the hedera consensus service because they are both competing for something similar even though they are very different in some aspects in other aspects they are very very similar and they are going after the same market so overledger interconnect and interoperate your dlts quants overledger operating system welcome to overledger os the world's first enterprise dlt operating system that lets you that lets you interconnect and interoperate disparate dlts as well as legacy systems quickly and easily the liberty to have all this decentralization that public decentralized dlts like some blockchains and other forms of dlts have and you can connect that to your already existing network so that you have the advantage of decentralization and also have the privacy of having your own networks or you can even build a, what they call m apps that's maps multi-chain applications that you can build on top of several blockchains or several dlts and it will really help you solve the blockchain trilemma so that's what the overledger operating system does it's by itself it's not a blockchain or it's not even a dlt it's a software that sits on top of all these blockchains and other dlts and even other existing non-dlt technologies and it creates interoperability and it also helps you create maps which will also help solve the blockchain trilemma so it's a very good use case for the blockchain space and i've been following it from 2018 so it's been quite some time now so this is what it does i'll be looking at hedera hashgraphs hedera consensus service but before that let's look at what hedera hashgraph is if you have never seen this photo before this is what hedera published when facebook libra came up with their governing council and according to hedera facebook stole it from them so yeah they said thank you facebook libra L imitation is the sincerest form of flattery so after that let's look at it this is hedera hashgraph they are governed by some of the best companies around the world and they have a mission of coming out with 39 companies to govern the council to govern the network and that will be the initial nodes that will be running on the network but in the future they plan on going fully decentralized so that thousands or probably millions of people can run nodes across the world but right now they have all these big companies avery denison bowen doshi telecom dla piper fis google ibm lg magalu nomura swells this is probably what you don't know about if you are not aware of header hash grabber this is the company that owns the patents to the hash graph algorithms then tata communications ucl wipro and zane a whole lot of other companies will be coming in the future probably taking us into 2021 before maybe they will announce all the 39 members so now now that we've seen the companies that run the nodes to get the algorithm now let's look at what they use it for so this is the hedera consensus service consensus for any application enterprises and industry consortia building applications using industry standard development environments or permissioned blockchain and distributed ledger frameworks such as hyperledger fabric or r3 recorder gain the benefits of privacy low cost and flexibility of development but when used standalone these applications and their associated networks remain siloed from one another require complex and centralized configuration to acquire transaction ordering and lack of the fundamental element of public trust that is central to web 3.0 the hedera consensus service acts as a trust layer for any application or permission network and allows for the creation of an immutable and verifiable log of messages so this is what the hedera consensus service does 
unless you have your own network your own private ledger and then it gives you the hedera consensus service it gives you the hedera consensus all this knows that these big companies will run initially and later on probably thousands or millions of other nodes across the world will run will then act as the decentralization that you need for your application so they call it appnet so for your appnet to be decentralized you can keep your private network but use the consensus for the decentralization aspect and also for fair ordering and many other opportunities that the hedera con the hedera consensus comes with by the way if you have not subscribed yet please go ahead hit on the notification bell as well so that you won't miss any video from us quant networks has also assembled some of the best permissioned as well as the permissionless blockchain and the most popular ones with big community behind them and everything developers and all they have r3 quarter hyperledger ethereum both perm permissioned and permissionless jp morgan quorum ripple iota eos stellar and bitcoin and they keep adding a whole lot of artists and this is the simplest way to explain what they are doing right let's say you run your own network you have a private network and you want to have decentralization aspect you can just run your private network maybe it's part, it's part of hyperledger fabric or something or maybe jp morgan then you can add the permissionless of ethereum or bitcoin then that way you will have the decentralization but also have the privacy of using your own private network it can even be something that is not even a dlt and it will still work and work well so this is a great one to have and now let's go back to hedera consensus service and see what other things are the benefits of using the hedera consensus service so some of the advantages of using the hedera consensus service is topic management topics make it simple to organize transactions so each application only receives the messages it needs consensus order messages are put into consensus order and given a timestamp by the hedera network with cryptographic proofs so they are as trustworthy as the full hedera network audit log messages are cryptographically tied together with a running hash to provide an auditable temper proof log of history scalable transactions messages processing and storage are kept outside the hedera network they will be stored on the mirror nodes and this is where you can retrieve your data later on and you can even run one yourself low fees the high speed and good scaling ensure low micropayment fees on par with hedera cryptocurrency historical data the hedera consensus service ensures speed and security are kept on the ledger while storage is kept off ledger choose to keep everything nothing or anything in between that's your choice so these are some of the advantages of using the hedera consensus as well we've looked at some of the advantages of using over ledger let's look at some of the use cases some of the companies that are using them already the most notable one with over ledger is a very big one and is the quant network and sia partnerships and Recently, they just successfully tested a blockchain interoperability. The breakthrough was achieved by integrating quant networks over ledger technology into the SIA chain private blockchain infrastructure, platform applications, and services in Europe and globally. It's also continuous. The breakthrough was achieved by integrating quant networks over ledger technology into the SIA chain private pla into the SIA private blockchain infrastructure, leveraging on 580 european network nodes with sia nets this integration provides the ability to bridge permissioned blockchain instances between sia chain and other external networks which could not be previously connected in order to have cross platform applications and services covering for example neutralization payments and kyc so the partnership between quant network and sia has been extremely positive and productive from the very start said gilbert Vedian, ceo quant network and both companies are confident that this development with 
will play an integral part in building the financial infrastructure of the future globally. This is the biggest partnership that Quant has. And even though I know they have other partnerships with Oracle and with Simba Chain, a whole lot of others, this stands out and I'm very excited for these partnerships. So now let's look at some of the use cases for the Hedera consensus service, what companies are using it for. The first one is the coupon borrower is using the Hedera consensus service for temper proof log for top consumer brands. Here's a very important one. Approximately 250 billion coupons are issued in the US annually, many through different providers, allowing consumers to redeem multiple versions of the same offer and costing brands millions of dollars. By adding the Hedera consensus service to the TCB platform, we together will create a trusted immutable log for coupon transactions for all authorized stakeholders. So this coupon Burrowton is really demanding project in his high speed in his faster transactions and it also needs micro payments so it's a very big step for dlt that hedera can actually solve this hedera by itself is trying to solve the blockchain trilemma alone something that quant overledger is doing with maps you can build multi-chain application on overledger by using maybe uh, Ripple using Bitcoin and XRP, all these three together to build in maps, making sure that you can solve the blockchain trilemma. But Hedera consensus service probably solving it by itself. Another use case is ASDAX. As is surpasses 1 billion ad events recorded in Hedera Hashgraph's mainnet, a decentralized advertising platform and marketplace to create, buy, verify, and sell advertising has recorded over 1 billion adv advert events on the Hedera Hashgraph mainnet, marking the biggest ever effort by any ad tech provider to sh shift the advertising industry towards blockchain and distributed ledger technologies. The pioneering ad platform began tracking events on the Hashgraph made it eight months ago and has been growing in daily recorded events and transactions ever since. So it used eight months to reach the 1 billion trans ad events recorded. So that's really big one. Others uses Hedera's cryptocurrency and consensus service to track millions of live advertising events and then execute real time cryptocurrency payments to stakeholders within the ad seven process based on the ad events so the recent use case for hedera consensus service is ftpos pioneers new e-commerce micropayments using hedera hashgraph so ftpos will test the capability of a digital australian dollar stable coin enabled by the hedera consensus service allowing consumers to load a wallet with a few dollars and then pay for web-based content seamlessly as the leading provider of debit card payments in Australia, FTPOS is well positioned to provide a new way for Australians to interact with the web via dollar-based micropayments, said Mr. Benton. We are excited to pilot Hedera Hashgraph to show what is possible with an innovative, improved online business model. By working with Hedera, we are leveraging next-generation payments infrastructure technology that can support Australian dollar-based micropayments and open up entirely new ways of conducting business online. The Hedera network will enable us to get speed to market and offer us the technology to process fast, secure, and affordable micropayment transactions for all Australian merchants and consumers. So guys, this is probably the recent use case for Hedera, but it also has all these big names out there that are also part of the governing council and they probably have their own use cases coming in the future. So this comparison is coming because of how Hedera is now focusing on the consensus service and how I see them going after all the other blockchain and other DLTs that Overledger has already connected. And this is from the World Economic Forum. And there's a recent development in platform layer 
on February 13, 2020, Hedera Hashgraph launched Hedera Consensus Service, affording developers an option to create verifiable timestamps and ordering of events for any application. Utilizing this solution, developers can build their own application networks consisting of a set of computers which enable privacy but utilize the trust of Hedera's public ledger as their consensus engine. As the solution can be used standalone or as a decentralized ordering service with other ledgers, such as Hyperledger Fabric, Corda, or Ethereum, it creates new opportunities for blockchain interoperability. And the reason why I'm talking about it is because recently the Hedera team has been talking about how they are going to go beyond the, hyp the Hyperledger Fabric that they've already connected. They are looking into the future of connecting all the other permissioned and permissionless, just as Quant Network has done with Overledger. The Hedera Consensus Service White Paper was written by Dr. Limon Baird, co-founder and chief scientist Hedera Hashgraph, and Donna Tibel, I think I pronounced that right, principal product manager Hedera, and Brian Gross. He is the principal product manager IBM. He was part of this, and IBM is also part of the governing council and now it's integrated into the hyperledger fabric so now we are looking at how they are going to also talk they are also talking about how they are going to use this one to connect other aspects of hyperledger like avalon and all the others that talks about interoperability and a whole lot of things so guys this is all i wanted to talk about they are also talking about interoperability just that just like overledger is doing and i think this competition seems kind of fair and it seems like something that exists much more than what people were talking about with uh repo and a whole lot of other tokens that i don't see the i don't see the competition there so i would take the time to make separate videos about this so that i can go into details both over ledger and header hashgraph because there are a lot that i could have talked about but it will make the video very long. I'm now here to talk about which one is winning and which one is losing. I'm someone who is interested in these projects, both of them, and I've been involved from the beginning. And so when I read about them both and I came out with this understanding that they are probably going after similar things. So I wanted to draw your attention because they are all looking at how they can let enterprises stay private but still have the benefits of using decentralization from the public network do you think this competition exists or is just something that i'm just making it up so let's know in the comment section and please it will really motivate me to do a lot of research and bring a lot of news to you if you would take the moment to please subscribe and hit on the notification bell so that you will miss all those research that i'll do in the future so thank you bye